friends, what's up? Welcome back. Today we're going to go over how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction and an improper fraction to a mixed number. Now, first things first, a mixed number just means I have a whole number with a fraction attached to it. They're mixed, whole numbers and fractions. And an improper fraction just means the numerator is actually bigger than the denominator, meaning the denominator can fit inside the numerator. There's a whole number somewhere in there. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is a mixed number. I have a whole number attached to a fraction. Now, when we're multiplying and dividing fractions, it is not going to work having a mixed number. I need to turn that into an improper fraction. To do that, I'm going to use the reverse C method. What does that mean? So when we write the letter C, we normally start at the top and go to the bottom. This method is called the reverse C because we are starting at the bottom and going around to the top. It's just a fun little way to remember. So I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm going to reverse C up to the top. Now, when we do that, I'm going to multiply my denominator, my whole number, that gives me 15. Then I'm going to add the leftover two. So 15 plus two, that's going to give me 17. And then I keep my same denominator at five. So now my mixed number has been converted into an improper fraction. See how that numerator is bigger? That's because there's actually a full three in there. We can fit a whole number in there. Let's do another one. Seven and two thirds. That is my mixed number, whole number and fraction. We're going to use the reverse C method to turn it into an improper fraction. Three times seven, that's going to give me 21. And then I'm going to add my leftover two, so that's going to give me 23, keep the denominator, over three. This is my improper fraction. Now we're ready to multiply this with another fraction or divide this with another fraction. Let's go the other way, from an improper fraction to a mixed number. My improper fraction, my numerator is bigger than my denominator, meaning my denominator can fit inside of this 22. How many times? Well, I know that four times five is 20. I can't fit another four in there. So I'm gonna have five times. But because that gives me 20, how many do I have left? I'm gonna have two left over. So that's going to be two, and I keep the denominator four. So my improper fraction turning into a mixed number would be five and two fourths. So if I need to simplify, I'm turning into a mixed number. If I need to divide or multiply with another fraction, I'm going to turn that mixed number into an improper fraction. So let's do an example where we're dividing fractions. Now, I have two mixed numbers that I need to divide. In order to do that, I first need to do reverse C method, turn them into improper fractions, and then I will do keep, change, flip to change that division problem to a multiplication problem. So because these denominators are different, I need to do reverse C method, turn them into improper fractions. So reverse C, I'm going to do six times five, that's 30, three plus that three, so that's going to be 33 over five. Keep the division symbol because we're not doing that part yet. Reverse C on my next problem. Four times two is eight plus three, eight, nine, 10, 11. Keep the denominator. That's done. From here, I can actually start to divide these problems, except I don't divide because I do keep, change, flip. I'm going to keep that 33 over five. I'm going to change this division to a multiplication. And then I'm going to flip my 11 over four. So instead it's going to be four over 11. From here, I can solve four check if I can simplify. When we simplify, we simplify looking diagonal. So I cannot simplify four and five. There is nothing that goes into both of those numbers evenly. So instead, I'm gonna look at 33 and 11. Well, 11 can go into 11 one time, and 11 can go into 33 three times. Whew, that just simplified my multiplication. So now I have three times four, that's going to give me 12, and five times one is going to give me five. I have an improper fraction. My numerator is bigger than my denominator. That means there's a whole number hiding in there. So how many times does five go inside of 12? Two times. That gives me 10. And then I have two left over, 10, 11, 12. So then I have my two left over and I keep my denominator five. That is my answer. So six and three fifths divided by two and three fourths equals two and two fifths. So that's why it's important to know how to change your mixed numbers into improper fractions and improper fractions into mixed numbers. If you like this video or found it helpful, please give a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.